Well, it's great to see you here at the DNC, Congressman. Oh, honored to be here. This is great. I first went on the Democratic stage 40 years ago, 1984. My father ran. I was 18 years of age, and so this is my 10th convention, and it's a blessing to see uh, his ideas even come to fruition, uh, calling us a rainbow coalition, saying that we're a, a patchwork of quilt, that this is the American tapestry. It was a speech of hope and optimism, asked for a female to be on the presidential ticket, asked for uh, a free South Africa, a free Nelson Mandela, a two-state solution. His ideas aged well. Uh, what do you expect uh, uh, the Governor Waltz is going to do tonight? What does he need to do to, to make things work for himself? Well, he's known in very enlightened circles. He's a man that uh, people say, well, you don't know that much about him. Everybody knows a Joe Walsh, if you will, a man that puts his country before himself personally, a man that wants to uh, volunteer time to go into the serve in the military reserve, a man that wants to teach high school students. I mean, just a regular guy, who man who flips a red state blue because he understands what's happening with farmers and people on the bottom who served in the Congress and then came back to serve in the state, in the governor's mansion in Wisconsin, in Minnesota. So he's a lovable guy, truly appreciated. Now with the time and the tension and the magnification of the lights, now more people are going to invite him into their living rooms this evening and love him even more. What is What would you like to see for the future of America? Healing, hope, optimism. The world needs American leadership. We've got hot spots all around the world. We've uh, put increased sanctions and called Cuba a terrorist nation. That drove 500,000 people off the island. We've strengthened, uh, tightened up restrictions on Venezuela. That's taken 5 million people out. That's given us an immigration issue that's coming to the border. Our border issues don't start with Mexico. They start with our policies in our region. We've got a war going on in Sudan you know, the worst crisis on planet Earth. I'd like to see us talk about, assert our leadership for humanity, for decency. We see an expanding tinderbox in the Middle East. Let's give peace a chance, let's raise our voice, let's talk about American leadership and rebuild all the places we can. Uh, final question then, since we're talking about the threat of communist China in your mind. If they want to retrade the deal, I can understand that. If we've lost too much manufacturing, I want to make sure that China is playing by one set of rules, that they don't have prison labor, that they're not uh, getting government subsidized and participating in a free market economy. People. So I have enormous respect for the Chinese people. And so I want to put the people first before the government. They would love Americans, and Americans love the Chinese people. Let's get the governments to act right.